We're at the airport. We're gonna go somewhere fun. We've been planning this for a while and we're really excited. You get to come with us. But first, let's go to the airport lounge. If you're wondering why we're at an airport lounge, it's because we have priority pass that we got free from our credit card. It's a pretty awesome benefit of having that credit card. We also got TSA pre-check because we have global entry, which we also got free from the credit card. It's the Venture X from Capital One, and so far it's pretty good. The way this lounge works is you get a couple $15 vouchers for food at their partnered restaurant. I chose a chicken quesadilla. Let's see how it is. Oh. Very cheesy. And I got the pulled pork sandwich. Mm. Oh yeah. The barbecue sauce is savory, which I'm a fan of, and it's not too saucy, so it's not drippy, it's not dry. Very good. We're finished at the lounge, and we're heading to our gate. We're heading to Europe. Let's see where we're going. We made it to the gate and we're getting ready to board. We're gonna end up in Slovenia. We're so excited. I'm excited for uh, Game of Thrones filming sites and old castles. What are you most nervous about? Finding parking near big cities. Hello. Hi. Well, please make sure each person Thank is Thank you. Thank What are you most excited for, Karin? Um, wine tasting huh. and the food. Yeah, we got plenty of those. Yeah. <laughs> what are you most worried about? Our connection in Paris. <laughs> it's very short. We'll see how it goes. Yeah. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome aboard Air France. We'll be with you on this Boeing 777 until we reach Paris. We're Karen and Jeremy, an average couple with average jobs and limited vacation time. When we take trips, we have one or two weeks, three if we're lucky, and we want to see and do as much as possible when we travel. Join us as we maximize our vacation time on mapping it. <sighs> well, even with a tight connection, and a late arrival, we made it to our terminal for our next connecting flight. We had to budge in the security line and run to catch a bus to get to this terminal, but I'm glad we made it. And when we got here, the gate wasn't even assigned. <laughs> they finally announced our gate, so let's go to our plane. Let's go. We just got our rental car. We picked it up from Hertz. And something that people don't often talk about, but you absolutely have to do when you get a rental car, is check for damages. You don't want to be left with a fine when you drop off your rental car. It's a great way to ruin a vacation. So inspect your car carefully before you drive away. One of our top tips for road trips is to download maps on Google Maps for offline use. You can use them for directions, even if you don't have cell service or keep your phone on airplane mode. We survived driving from the airport into Ljubljana, so now let's go explore. Today is Slovenia's national day. So we're not really sure what's going to be open, but we're excited to check it out. Oh, there's a dog! <laughs> 
<laughs> so cute. Yeah. Oh, you're good. Look at the dog. You ready? We're in Prasciutin Square, named after the most famous poet of Slovenia. It's the main square in Ljubljana, and the architecture of this place is incredible. This is a statue of Prasciutin being inspired by a muse and it caused controversy when it was first introduced to the square because the muse is naked and it's sharing a square with a church. We're at Moyi Strukli at the most popular Strukli place in Ljubljana and they have 20 flavors you can try but we're only going to try two. A uh, traditional savory flavor and a orange dark chocolate flavor. Let's see how they are. We got a bottle of kokta which is a unique pop that you can only find in this region of the world. It was invented in Slovenia in 1953 as a way to have a version of coke for Yugoslavia but it doesn't taste like coke. So let's try it out. That's an interesting smell. <laughs> it's kind of fruity. <laughs> It says herbal on the front, I, I think, mean, doesn't yes, it? <laughs> it's herbal, but like... There's definitely something herbal about it, but it's also like fruity and stuff. What do you think? Because it tasted all like Coke? No. <laughs> mm. You know what? It almost tastes like those freezy pops you know like, like the, the little tubes yeah like the yeah. the grape flavor or like the blue the blue Ooh. mixed the blue yeah, one the blue one yeah blue icy pop that's what it tastes like <laughs> <laughs> it's not blue though <laughs> do you like it yeah Okay, I've got the traditional strukli here. It's a dumpling that's layered and filled with cottage cheese, and it's got a toasted breadcrumb on top. Let's see how it is. Oh man. Very savory, very salty as you'd expect from cottage cheese. What's it like? Very soft. Yeah? Yeah. Kind of a light crisp from the breadcrumb. Mm. It's so good. <laughs> I got the dark chocolate and orange strictly. Same concept as the other one, except this one is a sweet version. So let's give it a try. Mm. Wow. Got like fresh orange stuff, <laughs> a chocolate sauce, and it is very dark chocolatey. Mm. So soft, so smooth. I'd pick this one. <laughs> Now here's something right up my alley, because I love milk. It's a milk vending machine. And not just any milk vending machine, a fresh milk vending machine. So first, you buy your bottle, and then you fill it up. We had a lot of fun walking around Ljubljana. It's a cool city to explore, and it's very walkable with a lot of pedestrian areas. And we'd love to go back for a longer stay, because there's so much to see and do. We're at Clove Sarna trying some traditional sausage that they have with horseradish and mustard. Mmm, very similar to kielbasa, I'd say. Should I try a horseradish? Yeah. Oh man, that's a lot of horseradish. <laughs> it's fairly mild for horseradish. I'm gonna try it with the mustard. 
this looks good. Mm. That's good mustard. That's good sausage. I try this end piece. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's got like a thing. Mm. It's got that good crunch that you want a sausage to have. Mm. Behind us is the Three Rivers Fountain created by an Italian designer in the Roman style. It reminds us of the main fountain at Piazza Navona. The Triple Bridge is three bridges convening onto one space. The original bridge is the widest of the three and it's directly behind us. And the other two were added after the fact. What? No warning. Nope. There was enough room for them to get through. We're wrapping up our time in Ljubljana and now we're heading to Lake Blood. It was really fun to see this city. It looks like it's off the track so you can just slide it. <laughs> slide it now. That slide it. <laughs> Not try. <laughs> Please. <laughs> Stop it. Oh my gosh. Don't do what you're doing. Can you stop? Stop that. What? You're gonna break it. <laughs> <laughs> you're seriously terrifying me. How is it how is it not? Can you close it? Just close it. Put it away. <laughs> Stupid door are we gonna do Heisen? Are we gonna do? It's been a long travel day. Yep. I don't know how long we've been traveling, and I'm not gonna add up the hours. But I'm glad it's over. We made it to Lake Bled, and we can finally relax. We had uh, two flights, one from Minneapolis to Paris, and then Paris to Ljubljana. And I don't recommend having a very short layover in Paris. We had to run through the terminal to get to our next gate, it was awful. <laughs> Lucky for us, our next flight was a little delayed as well. Yep. So that helped. That, that helped. <laughs> uh, but no, I'm gonna try never again to do that. <laughs> also, we got our rental car. Very excited to have a rental car. I love the freedom of having a rental car, but our rental car is a brand new car that has 40 kilometers on it. And it's a Mercedes. <laughs> So I'm a little nervous that something bad is going to happen. And we had a great time in Ljubljana. Yep, had some good food. Mm -hmm. Got the main things we wanted to try, the strukli and the, the sausage. Mm, yeah, that was good stuff. Very good food. It was uh, Slovenia's national day today, so there were a lot of stores closed, a lot of things we couldn't see, a lot of things we couldn't do. We were running a bit late, yep. so <laughs> I think we found out that we really enjoyed the city and we can't wait to go back. And tomorrow we have big plans to explore Lake Blood and we're gonna get a good night's rest. So stick around for our next video. And I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs>